Hello everyone, I am Gauri Murthy, Assistant Professor in Social Education, GPK Jayati Barana. I welcome you all my video lecture on Structural Engineering Methodology. In this video, we see the rectification of truth, which is a subtopic of topic structure. So here we see what is rectification of truth. Shape of curve, and if we know its equation and end point, then we can find out the length of curve from given equation of curve. So, formula is normally f is integration of a to b ds, and we calculate the length of curve. For that, we must know the state of the curve, m is, and equation of curve. Now, according to equation of curve, we calculate the ds. It depends upon equation is either in parametric, partition, or polar curve. First, we see for partition curve. So, if curve is given y is equal to f of x, then the length of arc of curve from point a to point b, where a is coordinate x1 minus point b of x y2. Is measured. S is integration from limit x1 to x2 into square root of 1 plus dy by dx plus x square into dx. When equation of curve is y is equal to f of x, our ds is square root of 1 plus dy by dx square into dx, and limit varies from x1 to x2. We convert all the variables into x variable. Now for partition curve, if x is equal to f of y, given in that case, we can find the length x is integration from y1 to y2 square root of 1 plus dx by dy by dx square into dy. Here x is function of y, so we convert x is function of y, dx by dy is function of y. We are finding this square root of 1 plus dx by dy square into and we integrate this with respect to y between the limit y1 to y2. This is for partition curve. Now for parametric curve. For parametric curve, equation of curve is x is f of t, y is also f of function 0. So then the length of arc from point a of x1 to p of x2 is measured where this a is corresponding to p1 and b is corresponding to limit p2. Then s is integration from p1 to p2 square root of dx by dt square plus dy by dt square into dt and ds is square root of dx by dt square plus dy by dt square. This is the formula for ds. Now First, we calculate the equation x is f of t, y is g of t, dx by dt, dy by dt. Then we calculate dx by dt square plus dy by dt square, and then we get x squared. So we get some function of t. We integrate this with respect to dt between t1 to t2. Now, for next type of curve, polar curve, if the equation of curve is given, r is equal to f of theta. Then, and we have to find out the length of r from the point a of r1 theta 1 to b of r2 theta 2. Then the length of curve is measured by the formula s is integration from theta 1 to theta 2 limit of square root of r square plus d r by d theta by d square into d. So r is given as function of theta. We are finding d r by d theta. Also in terms of theta, then r square plus dr by d theta square and then we get square root of theta. So we get function of theta and we integrate this between theta 1 to theta 2. Now, if rarely polar curve is given, theta is function of r. So in that case, s is given as 
इंटीग्रेशन फ्रॉम आर वन टू आर टू लिमिट स्क्वेर रूट ऑफ वन प्लस आर स्क्वेर इंटू डी बेटा बाई डी आर स्क्वेर इंटू डी आर सो नाउ विथ इज ऑल द फॉर्मुले वी आर यूजिंग अकॉर्डिंग टू द इक्वेशन ऑफ कर इज गिवन आईर इन आइटेशन फॉर्म पोलर फॉर्म और पैरामेट्रिक फॉर्म सो नाउ वी सी एग्जाम्पल तो फर्स्ट एग्जाम्पल फाइन द लेंथ ऑफ होल लूप ऑफ द कर्व थ्री वाई स्क्वेर इज इक्वल टू एक्स इन टू एक्स माइनस वन ब्रेकेट स्क्वेर सो फर्स्ट वॉट इज गिवन इक्वेशन ऑफ कर थ्री वाई स्क्वेर इज इक्वल टू एक्स इन टू एक्स माइनस वन ब्रेकेट स्क्वेर सो दिस इज एक्स वाई टाइप ऑफ कर और इट इज रिलेशन बिटवीन वाई एंड एक्स इज हाइटिशन कर and we can write y as a function of x so we assume it is y is equal to f of x so now we see the properties of curve and we draw first rectangle the curve is symmetric about x axis means y square is there y power of y is given also curve passing through origin and there exists loop between So intersect y axis at point zero and one. When I put y is zero, x is zero, and x is one. So rough sketch of the curve is of this type. Here the point one comma zero. Here zero zero, and curve is symmetric about x axis. So curve passes through zero to this one comma zero, and therefore due to symmetry we get loop. And also, curve exists for x greater than one also because this term is positive. And curve does not exist for x less than zero. So curve exists only on the for x greater than zero. So this is the rough sketch. Now for Cartesian curve, we are finding for ds. What is ds we require? dy by ds. We differentiate the given curve. With respect to x, so given curve three y square, we rewrite it x into x minus one square, that is x cube minus two x square plus x. I differentiate it this with respect to x. So our x is three derivative of y square is two y, and y is function of x we are doing to divide by dx. Yes, x cube derivative three x square, derivative of minus two x square is four x, and derivative of x is one here. So now we are finding square root of one plus dy by dx. So you rearrange it and find out first dy by dx, then find out dy by dx square, then take add plus one, and then simplify this. So after simplification, I get square root of one plus dy by dx square is one plus three x upon two root three into root of x. So now we continue this. What is the formula for s? Yes? Integration for x1 to x2 from of square root of 1 plus dy by dx square into dx. The value of this we calculate 1 plus 3x upon 2 root 3 into root x. Then for upper half curve, limit varies from 0 to 1. So s is 1 upon 2 root 3 integration constant term we take outside 0 to 1 1 plus 3x upon root x dx. Either we simplify this denominator and find out the integration or I use substitution. Root x is equal to x. So x becomes t square and then I differentiate this. I get dx is equal to 2t dt. So limit remains same in this case. Now, so integration has become one upon two root three limit zero to one one plus three t square upon t into dx become two t dt. So we integrate this integration of one is three three t square t cube integration. This two two get cancelled and when I substitute the limit zero to one, I get it is one. So value of this is one plus one that is two upon root two. So length of upper half R is two. So length of upper half 
R A plus is equal to two upon root of three. Now this is only the length of upper half of the curve. For total length of the loop is two times of upper half, which is four upon root three. Now this is next example. Find the length of upper arc of one loop of lemnar set. This is next example. Find the length of upper arc of one loop of lemnar set. R square is equal to h square cos of two theta. So given equation of square is R square is equal to h square times cos of two theta. It is a polar form. Now we see the curve. Curve exists for upper arc length. It is only between theta is zero to pi by four. R square is for this loop. And curve is of this type. There are Two loops, and in first upper arc of one loop is only this one, and limit varies from zero to pi by four between. Okay. Now for polar curve, h is given integral from theta one to theta two, square root of r square plus d r by d theta square into d theta. So now we differentiate given equation r square. Differentiate with respect to so differentiate with respect to theta what is that? Derivative of r square is 2r dr by d theta is equal to minus 2a square sine of 2 theta. So r dr by d theta is equal to minus a square upon 2 theta. So this is so dr by d theta is minus a square upon sine 2 theta upon So when we squaring this, we get a raised to four from square to theta upon r square. But from given equation, r square is a square cos of two theta. Now we have to find out actually r square plus d r by d theta square. So value of r square is a square cos of theta plus d r by d theta square is a raised to four sine square two theta upon a square cos two theta. After simplification. Cross multiply this, we get a raised to four cos square two theta plus a raised to four sine square two theta upon a square cos two theta. So when I take a raised to four outside, sine square plus cos square is one, and this become a raised to four upon a square become a square a square upon cos of two theta. Now we take its square root zero to pi by four square root of a square cos two theta d theta that is. Zero to pi by four k upon root of cos two theta. Now again, I substitute limit two theta is t for simplicity. So theta become t by two, d theta become d t by two. Now for theta is zero, t is zero. Theta is pi by four, two theta become pi by two. So limits for s new limit for t is zero to pi by two a upon root of cos t. So I rewrite it. A constant we take outside. A by two integration zero to pi by two cos raised to power minus one by two d. Now this is we will rewrite the sine derivative of the function derivative of the function. Now by using the formula integration zero to pi by two sine raised to p theta cos raised to two theta d theta is one by two beta of p plus one by two comma q plus one by two. Here p is zero, q is minus half. So zero plus one by two that is one by two, one by minus one by two plus one that is plus one by two by two, one by four. So here. We write beta in terms of gamma. So it is gamma half into gamma one by four upon gamma of one by two plus one by four upon two. So after simplification, we get gamma one by four. Gamma half is root five, and denominator is gamma three by four. And this one by two into one by two becomes one by two. So for simplicity, I multiply. 
numărul tău în denominator by 1 by 4, gamma 1 by 4, so denominator become gamma p into gamma 5 minus p, so here value of this is 4 pi root 2, and this 5 root 5 upon 5, 1 upon root 5, gamma 1 by 4, so this is the value of length of actual Now we see next example three. Find the complete length of arc x raised to two by three plus y raised to two by three is equal to a raised to two by three. Now you want to find x raised to two by three plus y raised to two by three is a raised to two by three. So use parameter x squared is equal to fifty y. So limit of this direction P is 0 to pi by 3 or A is equal to 0. This curve is symmetric about both x axis as well as y axis. So for parametric curve, S is given as Ds by D square plus D by D square. So first we are finding So the x by the x term must be clear for the two directions. The x by the x term clear and square to constant. So the x by the x term plus the y by the x term is square root of minus three a cos three b into x by the x term plus three a cos square two b cos three b. After simplification, we get square root of square root of x by the x term plus the y by the x term is root of nine x term. So here we get cos square cos square cos square. What is the value? Cos square is equal to sin square. Okay. Uh, root of 9 is here. Yeah. Root of sin square is cos square is sin square cos square. So now curve is symmetric about both x and y axis. So we are finding again the value of y quadrant. So for x quadrant, limit p varies from 0 to 5 by 3. So f integral sin x to 2 by 3 clear sin x to 2 by 3 so clear with the constant and sin t cos t sin t t upon t with the sin by t now integral sin x to 2 with respect to t is less than or minus cos t by t by t and with respect to t t by t then I put up the t cos of t times pi by t is constant minus t and cos 0 is also 1, which is equal to minus cos 2, and this is to be cancelled. So here we get 2 by 3, that is 3 only, 3 upon 2. Now, take the length, we are going to have a single number. 